Maria Chaleos along with Tom Bettis from the KSL Greenhouse Show. You can hear us Saturday mornings from 8 to 11 or on podcast at kslnewsradio.com. With me today, or with us today, is Andy Stevenson. We are at J&J Garden Center. We're here to talk about these wonderful plant walls that you have here. Andy, give us an idea. This, this is kind of a new product. This is a new product that just came out. As you can tell, they're probably six feet plus tall. But what they do is they have these little pockets in them that you can stick this size, particular is four inch size pots. And you can do anything imaginable, whether it's house plants, blooming plants, herbs, vegetables. And then what they have in the bottom is a reservoir that holds water and it actually has a pump that pumps it up and then it trickles down through the wall and waters each individual pot. And then the reservoir has an alarm system on it that tells you when that water gets low that it's actually a buzzer thing that goes off and it fills it up and then it just keeps recycling. But this one actually has some, some of them built with light kits in them on the sides. You can do different type of things. Um, just all sorts of great fun stuff that right. you can do with them. They're a new product. What I love about this, Ton, is that for somebody who is challenged, doesn't have a large yard, and maybe has just an apartment space, a balcony, this would be great for maybe vegetable growth. It would. You could put some peppers on this, you could put tomatoes, you could even do some cucumbers. You, know, you don't want watermelons and pumpkins unless they're the babies, they'll probably be out. But there's lots of things you can do on this, salad greens, but if you brought this in in the winter even, and had it in a bright location, you could do the herbs and a lot of those greens during the winter that you normally would have a harder time doing. Right, I love how it also takes care of all the watering for you. Also love the lighting aspect of it. Lights are so popular in people's yards right now. Talk about that a little bit, Ton, how lights can be used in these things. Well, lighting, what you would want is a bright location, and even in the winter, you may need to supplement a little bit with um, fluorescent bulbs or some LEDs. But as long as it's getting fairly bright light, then this will just keep going and going. Okay, I can't help but ask, how long will it take before these plants grow out of their containers? Well, it depends on the particular plants, because some of these, uh, what's the common name? This is Senecio, I can remember the Latin name, will only last for about four or five weeks, but others like the peace lilies and some of these Hawaiian trichleras and other things will last for years, you know, a year or two at least, before they might get too big and then you could actually just prune them back. And so this is a little bit more dynamic to where you're plugging things in and out and some's going to be permanent and others may only be in there for six weeks. But I like that because you can kind of do a seasonal thing and put different yeah. flowering plants in there. The fun thing that people like to do with these, I mean, we kind of got a random mix right now, but a lot of people go in and do patterns. So do like a checkerboard. We've seen things we're gonna do, we're gonna actually redo these and we're gonna actually try to do the J and J logo with different plants and actually put J and J oh. spelled out with plant material. So this is something like companies could use. Absolutely. Absolutely. Office buildings, malls, the homeowner outdoors, indoors, a little bit of everything. All right, thanks for joining us today. Get more great tips from the Greenhouse Show. Maria Shaleos, Tom Bennis with you. Also, the podcast, KSLnewsradio.com.